What's going on? Knucklehead GKM Gaming here, another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video for you. And today, I want to talk about not the next update that's coming, Update 9. I want to talk about what might be coming after that with Update 10. Right, so we were pretty fortunate, right? Commander Gogo came in the other day and he was actually in the Discord on the channel. I'll do some arena battles while we're just hanging out here doing this video. He's actually in the Discord and he was chatting everybody up. So people were getting chatted up and he mentioned a few things and we started talking about what the next two minifigures are going to be. He gave some hints about that, which is pretty exciting. And he also mentioned that updates might be coming bigger updates every two months, but then a smaller update in between. He mentioned that they want to do two minifigures per update, making about 20 to 24 figures a year. So that does equate out to too many figures a month, right? So that is, that's something we've really been looking for and that we can definitely get on board with and get excited for. Too many, too many figures a month is a big difference than too many figures every two months. And they did mention that to us a while ago that they want to get that pipeline of minifigures. So that's really exciting. We're gonna be getting more minifigures and he kind of hinted at what the minifigures are that are going to be coming after Super Wrestler and Corn Cob Guy. And he gave a hint. He said, well, it's it, it's already, it's there, but it's not there. And it's in the faces. So I noticed when they did the last Q&A with us, and I, I actually regret that I didn't ask them about it. They changed their faces to be Lego faces. Now, I didn't think thought anything of it. I thought it was just lego faces that they were putting out there as their thing maybe they were just faces they like but it turns out those faces which i'm going to put them up on the screen soon when i show you what figures i think they are are actually figures that are going to be coming next into the game that's right if you look at the faces of captain gogo -Go and tiny troop tiny trooper swarm or whatever his name is you will actually see the faces of the next two minifigures in the game. And that will be telling also of what the next reworks and things are gonna be. So if we start with Captain Gogo, -Go, right? And his face is that like bearded, stubbly, smirky face that we see in this Imperial Sergeant, right? This figure was in the Bricks Bounty, right? So we have the Imperial Sergeant over here that I'll, I have up on our screen right now. And this figure was part of the Bricks Bounty, which is also currently in the game. That set had Admiral Nonsuch and Cook Bart as part of it. He's like a young Imperial. He's not as low as Lacoy, but he's not as high as Nonsuch. Could be a really cool, maybe attacker, or maybe another support. When I think about the Imperials, I really think, what do they need? Governor's a pretty good attacker. Valiant's a pretty good tank. I think they need another... They need better healing from Lee. And maybe... I don't really think they need another attacker. I think another support. Somebody else to really support them would be good. And nobody supports like a sergeant, right? And I think with reworks and with this new minifigure, you might be looking at something pretty cool coming from the Imperials. Which does lead me to let you guys know if you got sextants maybe you want to think about farming up not such or you know put them into non such or gov this time though those tier three set tools are definitely tempting i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with with my event currency yet still trying to figure that out now if you look at tiny trooper swarms he's got this female face with a like kind of like a frown on it and like a little things around the eyes and the first thing that I think Scar pointed out to me was, oh, there's another Imperial up on the screen right now, which is like an Imperial, female Imperial soldier, like the female version of Lequay. But I'm not necessarily sure I'm too sold on this being the figure, right? I don't know if they're going to bring two Imperial figures into the game with the next update or try to spread the love a little bit more. This has a good shot to be, right? Because they put two costumed out. Maybe next they're going to put two Imperials out. 
you know, it, it does make sense for them to go with, hey, we're going to stick, we're put out two costume, two Imperials, two whatever, two city. So maybe they'll do it like that. But there was another minifigure I want to go over, which has the same face. But when you look at it on the screen, it's not exactly the same. This one's not frowning like in Tiny Trooper Storm's profile picture. But this face is a double-sided Lego face. That's right. We just flipped the switch. <sighs> Something about Drake in this, I don't know. Right, but there is an airplane pilot, right? An airplane pilot is something that we've all been calling for for the city team. Now, definitely somebody we can give a role model to. I think I think pilots are, are role models, right? Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Could be some current synergy, could come with some more reworks. I don't know. So now we have definitely an Imperial figure. I think the Imperial Sergeant confirmed, right? And now we're like, it could be another Imperial, like low level trooper, or it could be an airplane pilot. So here's what and I'm thinking is going to happen. I think if we get just, we let's say we're going to get just the two Imperials, right? We're going to get the two new minifigures. And with that, in update 10, right? So update 9, we're going to have the new collectible uh, Brick Pace. They're going to run Spooky again. They're going to run uh, Chill again. And they're going to run Techie again, right? So those Brick Paces are going to take us over the course of the next two months. Great. Maybe, maybe we'll even get Primo back with no new nodes, though. So that kind of stinks. Next time something comes around, right? Well, what's coming back? Ghostbusters will be coming back right after that techie event. Eh, not too thrilled about that. But after Ghostbusters was Imperials, right? So if they put new two new Imperials in the game, right? That's kind of nice. Plus some Imperial reworks. I'm looking at you, Lee. I'm looking at you. Uh, I mean, I love Nonsuch, but you probably could use a rework too. I'm looking at you, uh... LaCoy. I think Gov is actually pretty good as is, but I don't know, maybe some more synergies with the time bombs. And I'm looking at you with the set, right? So maybe they'll just make it, hey, we're going to make it all about the Imperial reworks this time around. And that's fine. But I mean, the Imperials, what do you have to rework? Three figures? I think Valiant's great. I think Gov is great. I don't think they really need reworks. I don't even think Nonsuch really needs a rework. I think it's really Lee needs the major rework. And I need some new figures added in there as well. Uh, there's not, not much you could do with McCoy. He's just, he's just bad. So maybe the sergeant will be an attacker. So maybe say they only add the sergeant and then they add the airplane pilot. Well, say they did three Imperial reworks. They've now set the tone of we'll do eight reworks with an update. Right? So maybe now City. Maybe it's City gets a little bit of a rework as well. And let's check out all these City figures that need reworks. Cl uh, Clay and Iggy just got theirs, but Crook Chuck definitely needs a rework. Poppy's rework needs a rework. Sal could use a rework. I like Chef as is. Primo could use a rework. Trent. So if we say Sal, Poppy, Primo, Chuck, and, Tr and uh, Trent. If those five got reworks, plus three of the Imperials get reworks, that's eight reworks. And then you gotta just rework a couple sets, which that's not too hard, right? For the Imperials, th this set, I don't think it's terrible, and I don't think it needs a huge rework. So I don't think there's a lot they need to change on that set. They might just need to buff some things up. But with City, yeah, Fire Station is a great set that they can really buff up and make viable. Glider's already great, I think. Lego House is getting a rework now. We know there's not going to be any new sets. So I do think my prediction is we're looking at a city figure and an imperial figure, the sergeant and the pilot, and we're going to get five city reworks, three imperial reworks, and maybe, right, maybe we will get a new node or two for Primo in that update that is going to come update. 10. That is my prediction for what is going to go on in the next update. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to be coming around town. I just thought this was some really cool information that we got from the devs this weekend. I had to share it with you guys and share my thoughts. 
Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today, Knuckleheads. Just remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up. Yeah,